so today we are continuing the great talk this is season two episode two and today i'm going to be showing you my trumpet now i got this trumpet back in november of 2020 so i've had it for a couple months and I'm going to show y'all how to play it. Alright, so I'm going to show y'all how to hold it properly. Okay, so if you hold it like this, this is obviously not the correct way to hold it, you know? Okay, so this little piece right here. You put your thumb right there. Okay, then you wrap your index finger and your middle finger around the valves right in this part right here. Okay, then you put your ring finger through this little hole right here. Then your pinky can just kind of float down here. Okay? Now, on the top where the valves are, you want to put your index finger on the valve closest to the mouthpiece. And then your middle finger can go on the middle valve. And then your ring finger can go on the valve closest to this part. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, you can put your pinky in this little spot right here and your thumb can kind of go like right over here okay now I got my now I've played trumpet before in band for fifth grade so I still have my band book so that's what I'm looking off of over here so I'm gonna show you some of the notes okay the first note is G now G is where you do not hold any valves down okay and once you start playing the trumpet I actually had to refigure this out whenever I first got this trumpet because it's been like two years since I've played a trumpet. You have to tighten your lips very tight and then blow. So kind of hold your lips like this. And then just blow. Okay? Okay, the first note is G. <sighs> Okay, so you see I did not hold any valves down. Okay. Now G and the note C are the same thing. For both of them, you do not have to hold any valves down. So G and C are the same. Okay, the next note I'm going to show you is F, which is where you hold this valve down. So the valve closest to the mouthpiece. All right. Okay, that was F. Now, I'm going to show you the note E. E as an elephant. Now, E is the note where you press the first two valves down. So the first two. Alright? Alright. Alright, that was note E. Then the last note is D as in duck. Now D is the note where you hold 
these two valves down. So the valve closest to the mouthpiece and the valve closest to the other end of the trumpet. All right. <laughs> Okay, that was note D. Okay. Now, I'm going to play a little song without my book. Now, remember those notes, all right? I'm going to sit towards the wall so it's a little easier for me to play. All right, keep an eye on what notes I press. See that? That was a little song I played for, for you. Alright? Now, I hope this helped someone that wants to learn how to play trumpet. Now, I know my best friend Haley Parker also plays trumpet. Okay? So, she can probably agree to all the things that I said in this video. Yeah, that is, and whenever you're done playing the trumpet, you want to take the mouthpiece out, okay? And whenever you, your valves need it, like mine kind of do right now, uh, they need a cleaned. You have to have a special oil to clean your valves so they don't stick, you know? So, whenever your trumpet needs it, clean your valves. And you also want to clean this, your mouthpiece, and the end of the trumpet where the mouthpiece goes in, which is right here. Okay? And... This little thing right here can be adjusted to wherever you need it. There's a little screw on top of it, like right there. And you can adjust, all you gotta do is loosen it and adjust it to wherever you need it. See, like I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm gonna adjust it back to where I had it. And yeah. I hope this helps someone. Thank you for watching uh, Season 2, Episode 2 of The Great Talk. And, yeah. Bye, friends!